Hi everyone! Uh, today I'm going to share with you an example of interactive H5P video and some examples of activities that you can include in interactive H5P video. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, this is just a screencast, so it's not really interactive, but hopefully you will get an idea of types of interactions uh, you can do. Uh, and if you want to see the actual interactive video and see how these interactions behave and see what you can do with them, you can go to my website. The link is below the video and you will be able to, to, to click on all the buttons and test the interactions and see everything as it appears on the screen and interact with them. So let's start with a quick explanation of what an interactive H5P video is. There are two elements to it, uh, a video and a H5P interactions. Uh, so H5P is a free open source store that, tool that enables users to create interactive and engaging e-learning resources using various functionalities and there are lots of options. Creating interactive video is just one of the possibilities. To create an interactive H5P video you need a video that you created or recorded and then you enrich it with various interactions added on top of that video uh, as kind of a layer above. So you can use and repurpose some existing video. This could be your online lecture, a narrated presentation, a video explainer, anything really. And you can also use a video from YouTube that are out there. Alternatively, you can take more thoughtful and strategic approach and you can plan your video specifically as the H5P interactive video. You will storyboard and plan interactions uh, that you will introduce in your video and this approach could give you more control over the content flow and uh, also over the design. So basically you can uh, you will be able to design training more as you want but it's also more, um, more work for you uh, I, I would say. Uh, in terms of interactions that you can add, uh, this could be in-video activities and events such as uh, crossroads, hotspots, labels, text, pictures, um, links, images, uh, and that's just few. You can also include puzzles and quizzes for learners to solve during the video. Uh, you can challenge your learners with multiple choice questions, filling blanks, uh, drag and drop um, exercises. And much more and I will show you all examples of this uh, activities or interactions in this uh, in this video you can create and publish h5p interactive video on any platform that integrates with the h5p and at the moment h5p is compatible with uh, canvas brightspace blackboard and moodle lmss and it is also compatible with wordpress and drupal uh, cms a content management system okay so let's look at the examples uh, so, as I mentioned, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's a screencast of interactive H5P video. And if you want to uh, have a real experience uh, and real interaction, make sure to visit my website. The link is below the video, skerita.eu. Okay, so interactions. What you can see here uh, on the left hand side is an example of crossroad activity. I use it here as a kind of navigation menu. It can be used to add branching to your video, for example, to create branching scenarios, although uh, there is an independent branching scenario functionality in H5P. Crossroads allow you to refer learners to a specific section of the video. With most of the interactions, and that's another point, so with most of the interactions, uh, you can decide whether you want the video to keep playing or stop once the interactions, uh, when the interaction appears. In this case, I decided that I want this video to just keep playing. So this crossroad menu, uh, it will be displayed for another while until I'll finish talking about it. Now, on the top right corner, somewhere there, I, I added navigation hotspot. And this is another type of activity. I will explain it later, but uh, for now what you need to know uh, is really that by clicking on this particular button there, uh, you will be able to go back to the beginning of the video. At any point of the video, if you click on it, you'll come back to the beginning of the video, to the crossroad menu and where the crossroad menu is displayed. Okay, so back to the crossroad. Let's see how it works. So click on the first button label and see what's going to happen. I just moved you to another section of this video and here in a second you will see the text appearing on the screen. Display text is another type of interactivity called a label. 
you can have short labels, but you can also have um, longer labels. You can use labels to present additional information or comments on top of the video. What I want you to do now is to click on the button in the top right corner so we can go back to the crossroad activity and then choose the second button from the menu, uh, namely text. And notice what is going to happen once you click on that button. Okay, so you have chosen the text button from the menu. Did you notice that additional information was displayed when you clicked on the text button? In the crossroad menu. Um, the crossroad activity allows adding additional information or text that appears after the user clicks on the menu button. It can be handy uh, for presenting choices or more information. Okay, back to the next activity. I'm going to show you two examples, button text and poster text. Most of the interactions in the H5P video can be added uh, either as buttons or as a poster. You can include the same information and the main difference would be that the button is collapsed, interaction that user must, uh, must press on, while uh, the poster is the same information but is displayed directly on the top of the video. So no interaction is required, is required, is right there. On the left here, you see an example of a text button. When the learner clicks on it, the pop-up appears uh, with more details. You can use the text buttons to add more information, point out important aspects of instruction or other information you might have missed during the recording. Um, now, click on it and check yourself. And when you finish reading, close the pop-up and click play to continue to the next section. Now this here is another example of the text button, but this time I added a link to it. In addition to including extra information on your video, you can add links to text buttons and different activities to redirect learners uh, to other parts of the video or to different websites or external links. This interaction, so hyper link added to a text, is visualized by the tiny arrow and the border around the text area. So notice that. Now click on that button and you will be redirected to the specific time code where I show you a text poster. And here it is, the text poster. The poster is an interaction that displays on the top of the video. Uh, in case of uh, text poster, you can adjust background so you can see it's a bit uh, see-through. Uh, you can add link functionality as well, allowing to redirect learners to specific time code or external link. And again, this interaction is visualized by the border around the, the text and the tiny arrow in the corner. If you click on this text, you will jump into the specific time code when I show you the example of in video table. Tables can be presented as buttons uh, and as posters. And if you want, you can test it now. Click on the table button and uh, the table will pop up. And you can also present the table as a poster, as I said. Uh, so all info is right on the top of the video. Now, when you're ready to continue, click on the navigation hotspot that appears next. And this is where I'm going to show you how we can use uh, navigation hotspots. The hotspot is an area that has a specific interaction assigned to it. Uh, it is hyperlinked uh, to video a uh, uh, timestamp or another URL. And the circle in the top right corner that I already mentioned is a navigation hotspot. I use it throughout the video as a back button that uh, once clicked on brings learner to the very beginning of the video. And this bigger button there is also a navigation hotspot. Uh, notice that when you mouse over the hotspot, the cursor indicates that 
uh, the area is interactive. And when you click on that uh, hotspot, uh, you will jump to a different section. So try it now, click on it and you see what's And here is another example of a navigation hotspot. This one has a different shape. So navigation hotspots can be uh, round or it can be rectangular. rectangular. Uh, okay, click on the hotspot now and I will bring you to another example of in-video activity. And here is an example of the link added to the video, adding additional text uh, or additional information explaining what will happen after clicking on this link is always a good practice. So in this case, you will be sent to my own website as the label on the link explains. Uh, try it if you want, but uh, note that the link will open in a new tab. If you don't want to test this, just keep watching and I will show you examples of images added to the video. Okay, so you can add an image as a button uh, that appears when the learner clicks on it and you can also include a poster image right on the top of the video. In both cases, you can hyperlink images uh, with external URLs or a specific time code in your video. Um, so have a look now, test it, uh, click on the images. Again, note that links open in a new window. So uh, to continue watching, you'll need to come back to this tab and then click play. Okay, so if finished with exploring images, click on this navigation hotspot to go to the next section and learn about the different types of video quizzes and tests. So I'm going to show you some examples of quizzes and video tests, kind of game type activities. Each of them can be presented as a button that opens uh, as a pop-up once clicked on, or as a poster showed directly on the top of your video. So when creating quizzes, you can also pause the video. You can choose to pause the video, prompting learners uh, to stop or making sure that they're not going to miss it. And so they basically have to take them or you can decide to just play them for a short while as the video is, is playing kind of in the background. Okay, so this is an example of in-video statements. It is really self-explanatory. You ask the learner to choose the correct message from the series of statements presented in the exercise. And the statement activity is a great way to increase learners' ability to remember important information. So just the key, uh, key facts, key pieces of information. Statements work best when included and presented directly after the content. So for example, at the end of the topic or at the end of the section, or even at the end of the video. And statements can also be added to presentations, H5P presentations, or can be created as standalone H5P activities. You can also have a in-video single choice activity. And this is basically a quiz with one correct answer per question. The viewer gets immediate feedback after submitting each answer. It is displayed on the screen and you can also activate sound notification or you can disable the sound notification. You can test them both now and you can see like if, if when you're ready, uh, just come back, continue and click play to go to the next activity. The H5B multiple choice activity can have a single or multiple correct answer per question. It also allows displaying notes and comments that are specific to the answer picked. You can also add information button. Uh, so behind this button, you can have a hint or kind of a message for the learner that appears before the learner picks the answer. You can also add feedback that appears after the answer is selected. And you can even differentiate between the feedback that uh, appears for correct and incorrect answers. You can also add hyperlinks uh, to the feedback and refer learners to external resources. So you can test it now. Remember that uh, links open in a new window. So if you want to continue, come back and click play to go to the next section. So another example is true and false question consisting of a statement that demands a true or false answer. You can also change this to yes and no, agree, disagree, uh, and so on. And feel free again to stop it and test how it works. And then when you finish with them, click play to continue to go to the next activity. A filling blanks activity is used to create clause tests. 
portions of words uh, or sentences are removed from the text and the learner is asked to fill in the missing parts. So uh, fill in the blanks is really popular in language learning to assess vocabulary, grammar, to test learners' ability to reproduce facts or even mathematical uh, reasoning. You can also add images to illustrate uh, the quizzes and again you can test it. If you don't want to do this, click play to continue to the next activity. Uh, drag the words activity lets you create text-based challenges right in your video. So learners drag words into the blanks in sentences and uh, this is excellent extension of uh, language video training and many other things as well. So again, test it if you want and come back, click play uh, to continue to the next activity. And the last activity is also drag and drop, but this time uh, it's a drag and drop with images. Um, so drag and drop interactions in your video allow learners to drag a piece of text or in an image and drop it to one on or more corresponding drop zones. The challenge for the learner is to make logical visual connections. So basically recognize, assign and drop elements into the right places. And some examples of, of use of this drag and drop uh, include grouping elements that belong together, uh, matching objects that have something in common, organizing elements in the correct order or placing them in the correct position. Again, uh, you're very welcome to, to test the example I have here and come back when you're ready. Great. Okay, so uh, that's it. That's all the activities and quizzes that are available to include in the interactive H5P video, at least at the time of recording this video. Thank you for watching and I hope it was useful. I will be posting more information and more tutorials about H5P. Uh, so keep an eye, subscribe to my channel if you're interested and take care.